Hello and welcome back to Rocking All Over the Globe, part 64, I believe. Club 4, Coritiba in Brazil. And looking at that league table, I'm quite astonished by what is going on and I expect you guys are. We are top of the league and we have played 14, we have 37 points and we are 11 or 9 points clear now of Corinthians but Corinthians do have two games in hand. We do have to be aware that they have six points up for grab, which will put them back in the race. And uh, we, as we come to the halfway stage of the season, I would say we are doing pretty well. Much better than we are predicted to do. We were predicted to finish in around about 10th or 11th. And we are once again taking this league by storm. With a young team that is actually going to be losing quite a few players as a transfer window opens shortly we're going to be probably losing a number of players and players like Marcos who are wanted by uh, British clubs I'm hoping that we're going to hold on to him um, I don't intend for him to be going anywhere but there are other players who are wanted and players like Paraxides has asked to leave. Oliveira is wanted. I don't want in have no intention to sell him, but I may be forced to at the end of the day. Holinho is unhappy because he's not playing enough, which is why he's been selected in the team today. Uh, Shatin 
Um, I really have no room for him. He's asked to be transfer listed. He can probably go. Moreno, quite happy for him to go. Sasme, he could probably go as well. But these are not big players and they're not going to bring in a lot of money. The transfer window will open soon. And in terms of finances, we have no money for this transfer window. We are going to have to continue with our vision of bringing young players in as the older players move out and uh, we'll try our best to hold on to our very good young players but it's difficult because a lot of European teams especially as we are coming into July now a lot of the European teams are loaded up with bank accounts big bank accounts and they are looking to come in and steal our Brazilian youngsters and take them to Europe good news though is that nobody seems to be interested in Kumala and so hopefully that will be some somebody that we will definitely hold on to at this stage. Two games today. We're going to be playing Sao Paulo in um, the Brazilian League, League One. And then we have Golas in the in the cup and uh, games we should be winning but I am a little concerned about the form as we go into these two games and you remember that we beat uh, Fortaleza in the fourth round second leg of the cup and then beat Vasco quite easily 4-1 in the last episode we've moved on since then and we beat Corinthians again by two goals to nil a very good fixture a very good result and then we beat Bragantino by four goals to one things are looking particularly good especially as we then went on to beat Gremio by four goals to one and then things started to fall away a little bit. And um, it does, these last two fixtures do worry me a little bit, especially as in my other save, the tactic seems to have died. And I'm wondering if this, these, and they do have a habit, these two saves that I'm doing, of mirroring each other. All that good form against a very poor Botafogo team we only managed a 1-0 victory and then we got even worse against Santos, a game we should have been winning, but we couldn't score. And I'm wondering, as everybody else has had a period of poor form and we've just racked up the results, only losing one game since the season began, is our poor form about to begin? You're always going to get one period in the season at least where form is not good. And I'm wondering... Is the tactic about to fall apart now? Are these saves going to mirror each other? So if there is anybody in the chat, could you just let me know if the pictures are okay and if you can hear me? And that would be great news if you could do that for me. I have no way of telling. The only thing I have is a green dot that says excellent connection, but that actually doesn't mean anything as I found out in the past. So... Two big, big games. Transfer window, as I say, I, I don't have any plans at the moment. The squad probably does need whittling down. We have a very, very big squad. It probably does need whittling down a little bit. And um, thanks, guys. Thanks for letting me know. Welcome to the stream. And um, I don't know. I think we should just say a quick prayer and hope that the tactic hasn't fallen apart. A um, couple of changes for today's game. Helinho has been saying that if I don't give him more game time, he's threatened to put in a transfer request. He's going to be playing. I really don't want to lose Helinho. He's a very, very good young midfielder. And I want him to be part of the plans that I have here. And um, we've brought in David. I'm resting um, Kumalo for today. Um Probably, I get a sense Kamalo is getting very tired. He played a lot of football at the beginning of the season, and I think he's a little tired. So we're going to give some other boys a little bit of a game. We've brought in Anderson Jesus for Jesus Abba at the back as well. Marcos, I need to play him a lot so that he doesn't um, have any qualms about staying at the club and get his eyes filled with the big money from Europe. So we're going to play Marcos probably a little bit now coming into the transfer window. So we'll go and play this game and then we'll see what happens. And we'll, usually there is a flurry 
of activity when the transfer window opens and it will open between these two games and it will be interesting to actually see what happens um i if he if my assistant says things like focus play somewhere i generally go along with him is the usually the only one um that i go along with helinho as a ball winner could probably do with easing off the tackles and so yeah generally that's the only one that I would go along with and we will go along with it today we'll focus the play through the middle see what happens it means we'll probably be playing a little bit narrower but uh, I have eight foreign players in the squad I can only have seven so one of these boys maybe Kumalo Flamenco I have a lot of injuries so it is a little bit of a problem um so maybe I'll bring in the next another center back. So if I use Heidegger as the center back instead of Jesus Abba, then I can take out one of these other bring in another player for and maybe Boschilla can now come in for Jesus Abba and that will solve the problem hopefully. So we will go into this game hopeful. Um, if we can win this, we're going to keep the pressure up on Corinthians. They are closing the gap. They do have these games in hand. And um, hopefully, though, today we're going to see two games. We're going to come back to form. We've been out of form the last couple of games, only getting four points from the six. And the three points were, were very fortunate. And... I don't like that never press, especially for a central defender. What you find is that when you say never press to a central defender, when there's a corner, he can find himself in a load of space and nobody closes him down. So I don't like that instruction on a central defender. Um, so uh, I think I need to be saying, yeah, he's, he's probably quite right. We've been on a good run. Let's keep it going. And they are all very up for this. I've I've rested Pineda and Perotti comes in for a game today. Neither striker has actually been in particularly good form. And it might be that I will I will start thinking about playing strikerless. If they don't find their form, then I might think about going strikerless. It is an option that I have, and it is something that I can think about. Hi Tails, thank you for the greeting from Thailand and thank you for <laughs> thank you for your kind words. Very, very much appreciated. I have travelled a lot in the north of Thailand mostly, but I do love Bangkok. Where are you from? Um travel I find that Thailand's getting a little bit expensive though as for a tourists um these days, but I do enjoy Thailand. And we'll Defending is not that great, looking at it. And we are playing the much higher line, and I do want us... Still playing FM, are you? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> 3 a.m. in the morning. I've been there. I've been there myself in these times. 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Just one more game. <laughs> I've been there. And especially when you're on a winning streak, you don't want to switch off the computer. I do understand that. Our passing is looking pretty poor. As I said, we looked lethargic. We looked not great in the last two games. And maybe it is time to switch something up a little bit. Maybe the game is telling me time to change your tactic. We've been using this for a season and a half. And I have noticed that it happens a lot quicker in FM24 that you have to change your tactic. Totally ridiculous because Pep Guardiola and Klopp don't suffer from this in real life. Um, but it is an FM thing. And uh, we are in trouble. We are behind. <laughs> and I had a funny feeling that our form was going to suffer. And I'm not too happy with the way they're playing at the moment. There is going to be a bad patch in the season. And I'm wondering 
why they got in behind us really easily there. And so I have to think about who is causing the problems. And so I think we'll just have a look. Juan Jean Carlo. The midfield seems to be causing us a problem. So let's have a look at Jean Carlo. We'll tight mark him. And does he have a weaker foot? No. We'll tight mark him. And hopefully somebody can take him out of the game now. If not, then I will specifically put someone on him. But hopefully that will do the job and we'll take him out of the game. Our passing has to get a lot better. It has to be a bit crisper. And you can see there, it's pretty poor. And so what I'm going to do... Wait for this highlight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the tempo. And I'm going to take out focus play up the middle. Maybe that's not such a good idea. But I want our passing to be a lot crisper. And so we'll play at a higher tempo. See if that makes a difference. We do have a corner. We are a goal behind. But at the moment is not the time to panic. I've got a good strong team out there who've been performing really well. But as you can see, the game is telling me, nah, this is not working anymore. Two shots, zero on target. Although we've had all the match momentum. And we do have another free kick, another set piece. And another set piece. And one of these hopefully will pay off. I've got to try and find a way to break these boys down now. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking at Perotti, who's already, his rating is already going down. It's my strikers again, I think. And David, what, what was that first touch? And, and this is exactly what happened in my stream last night. First touch was poor. They looked awful. They couldn't pass a football, couldn't get a shot on target. And... Uh, these two saves that I'm doing tend to mirror each other. And I'm seeing exactly the same here as in the other save. Um, I think that the game goes on the manager that you play rather than anything else. Because the manager that I'm playing in both saves is the same. So I'm wondering if these are linked through the manager. Um... We shall see. If we lose today, then I'm definitely going to say yes. <laughs> and uh, At the moment, we still don't need to panic. I need to have a shout at them and tell them I want more. But they do look lethargic. And even though I've upped the tempo, it's still not being zipped around like we normally do. And the other team look very comfortable defending against us. So in the second half, if we haven't equalised, I'm going to try the strikerless um, way of doing things. Because at the moment, my strikers can't hit a barn door. <laughs> and it's I've got three very, very good players up top there. And at the moment, they just cannot hit a barn door. I'm missing Kamalo, of course, up top, but there's no excuse. We should be winning this game, and these guys should be good enough, and none of them are playing very well at this point. And defensively, we seem okay. Helinho probably got his mind on transfers <laughs> rather than anything else. He's not having the greatest of games. And I need more from these boys, and they probably will have a little bit... Fernando Redondo. Uh, no, I think he's not that young. He's, um, I think he's 24. We'll have a look in a minute at Redondo. Once this highlight's done, we'll have a look at him. He's a very, very good player. But at the moment, he's not playing particularly well either. Another chance and it's not going in. So I have to do something here in terms of the way I'm attacking. There's got to be a solution to unlocking this defence. And we'll try a few things as the game goes on. Let's see if we can't find the way to unlock the defence. We'll start by making a tiny little tweak. If he's not playing very well, 
We'll make him a deep lying forward on support. And then I will make David a shadow striker. And we'll see if that makes a difference. We have Perotti coming deep. He might pull out one or two of the defenders. <coughs> it does probably they are defending deep. And again, another shot is wasted. I don't think we've had one on target yet, have we? <laughs> we've had one. And that's that's all you need to know. That's the only stat you need to look at. Um, and you know now you've got to change something. But we've had all the ball. It's just, I mean, look how deep they are. They're on their penalty spot. Oh, we've hit the post. This is not looking good. We've had all the ball. We just got caught defensively early on. And I need to up it to positive and probably push players further up. So we'll push Helinho further up. And that is dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. So we're doing what we can. We've changed the roles up front. That didn't seem to work. We have pushed the midfielder forward. And so we've got tons of bodies in the box now. Surely somebody is going to find some space in there. And we're just working it around. It's, I mean, look how many players they've got back. It's very difficult to open them up. And Helenio can't do it. And we are in trouble here. I can't push the lines up any further. And these boys need an absolute rocket. You've been terrible. And individuals, there's no Helenio's having a dreadful game. I think his, he wants to leave and his mind is elsewhere. I think that's his problem. I'm not happy with you. Um, and I'm going to say the same to Perotti and David. You've not been good enough. Get it together. <laughs> and uh, I think... We're trying that. I'm going to try him as a deep lying forward on attack now and get him into the box rather than just coming backwards. Um, I'm going to put my wing backs on attack as well. We'll just put one of them, I think, for the moment. I don't want to throw everybody up there. And we'll ask, bearing in mind that Jean Carlo, I do know, needs tight marking. I'll ask my assistant. Yeah, he's he's left that in. He's very tired. He needs a hard tackle. I know that's not very nice. Oh, he's already gone off, so it doesn't matter. And Andrea, Andrade. I'm not sure about him. Just left foot. And we'll go out and hopefully these boys will put on a better performance. We do have another th few things that we can do before the end of the game to try and break them down. But my first thought always is to push more bodies up. Um, but there are a number of other things that we can do. And again... It's their, their deep defence that's causing the problem. And it might be that we have to go to a more defensive style. Which sounds really silly. But by actually going defensive, it just tells them to come out and attack us. Um, but there are other things that I'm going to try. And the first thing I'm going to do is take Parotti off. He's been in this form... For a long time. And so I'm going to bring on another midfielder. We're going to bring on Oliveira. And now we're going to go strikerless. And hopefully we're going to have a better, a better front three than has been performing. And this has been the tale of what's happening at the moment. 
So something has to change. If we're going to score, something has to change. And hopefully without the striker, we're going to create some space behind them. They haven't, since they scored, they haven't actually threatened. It, there's still only that one key pass that's actually happened. <laughs> and that led to the goal. Um, so I'm really not sure. And it could be just that they're just out of form. That, that could be simply what it is. And we need to be doing better than this. It's lethargic. It's poor. They've got the match momentum off us in the second half. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit more defensive. I don't want to mess with the lines because the, we don't look in trouble. So I don't really need to mess with the, where the lines are. We've just got to find a way to get in behind them. And that's a better ball. And we are in behind them. <laughs> we have scored. And Ogden Alivero has made it 1-1. But the referee, is he checking it? Is he having a look at VAR? Yeah, they are. I think he was onside myself. I'll be so Oh, it's been disallowed. It's going to be one of those days. <laughs> and, uh, that will look onside to me. Did he just delay it? Yeah, I just delayed it a little bit. But that's maybe the way to get in behind them. We've got to pull them out. And by going strikerless, it may have pulled them out a little bit. The other way now is to go defensive so that they come out and attack us. Um, just like that. And then they will leave space behind them. Apart from that, then, I don't know what to do. I could go into a mid-block. But they've they've got to be attacking us more, which they are doing. But these are just set pieces. Um, I think could be a mid-block to pull them out. But they've certainly got so many players back. And they've made it 2-0. And now we are in trouble. <laughs> and whatever I've done here isn't working and I do I really do wonder if these two saves are mirroring each other and I need to berate them and I need to make some changes this is really bonkers <laughs> yes this is a game this team is nothing they are nothing MT is now a problem where did that come from and those are probably corners He's probably the set piece taker. Um, right foot is good enough for him. So I'm not really sure what else I can do. I'm going to go to a balanced style and I'm going to pull the lines back to a mid block to try and pull them out. We don't need that. I'm going to get stuck in. But I'm also going to put my other full back on attack. My wing back on attack. We need to get players forward. Yet we need to be pulling them out. And I also need to get rid of some of these. Aguilera, dreadful. So Boshilla can come on. And David is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Paraxides can come on for David. And this is what I've noticed the last 6.4 for Helenio. He's been terrible. And Galzara can come on for Helenio. This is what I have noticed of late. And this is what happened to me in the live stream yesterday. And it's time to change the tactic, I think. That's what it's saying. And I don't want to leave it a few games to find out. I think I know it's time to change the tactic. This has been an absolutely dreadful performance. I'm even going to go defensive now. I'm going to try and draw them out. To try and get in behind them. But we're just being taken apart here. It's absolutely awful. 
And this is a team that was beating everyone. And this is a part of FM that I really don't like. It's like a switch. They have a switch inside there that, that is just pulled at various times. And it's very, very difficult then to sort that out. I hope that by going more defensive, it's going to pull them out, create space. We do look like we're zipping the ball around again, but oh my good lord. So I've tried substitutions, I've tried being more defensive, I've tried changing the shape of the team. It's not going to be our day. The last thing left now is to go attacking. Let's go very attacking. I've got one more substitution left. It's just horrendous. Horrendous. And flamenco. No, not flamenco. I'm aware. Where's Raquel Me? Oh, Raquel Me is injured, so we will put flamenco. On for Perez. I think Perez is having an absolute... No, it's Jesus is having the bad game. But Cipriano is very tired. So Flamenco can come on. And I'll just shout at them because that now is all I've got left. All I've got left. We've been beaten by a poor team for no reason at all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to concede further because we've gone attacking now. It's too much risk. It's time to change the tactic, I think. We'll see what happens in the cup, first leg. But after that, it will be a new tactic because I'm not putting up with the game doing that. I'll just... I'll just change the tactic. It's the, what the game wants me to do, so we'll keep the game happy. I'm not happy about that because my DNA is the way we play. And the game suddenly decides, no, you can't play like that anymore. You have to change your DNA. And that should not happen. It, the football does not say to Pep Guardiola that you are not going to win any more football matches unless you play park the bus football. And... That does not happen in real life. He does not change his style of play. That's his DNA. That's how he plays. And no matter who he manages, that is how he's going to play. And so this is part of the game that does not reflect reality. It's not a simulation. Anybody who thinks it's a simulation is wrong. And we've been beaten. And um, that's this has got to be with to do with tactic. Um, so we will change the tactic for the cup game just to prove a point. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> it, it is a bit like that. Um, and and this, I really want to do a video on it because it's a part of the game that is it's really annoying. And these two saves are mirroring each other. Um, Who is this? 32 years old? No, I don't want to sign a 32-year-old. So these saves are mirroring each other, and in both saves now, the game has forced me to change the tactic. I don't want to. This is my the way I play, and it's been very successful. Um, so that's part of the game that I dislike immensely. Um, but let's see what we've got loaded up here. Let's see what we've got. We do have this one. And we'll play a Segundo Volante. And we'll have a Deep Line Playmaker. We do have this one loaded up. And we'll see how that one goes. Because this is what it's saying. Those two results are, are exactly the same as what happened in the save last night. It's unbelievable how my two saves are mirroring each other.
And I think it's a link to the manager. When I do two saves from now on, I'm going to change the manager profile so that the game doesn't think that it's the same person doing both both saves because they're exactly the same. Exactly the same. And this is annoying me. But we'll change the tactic and then we'll see if it is the tactic. And if we win this one easily, then we'll know we've solved the problem. It's just a tactic change. Yeah, Sully, I think you're right. I mean, the game has to fight against you. And let's remember, it is a game. And it, it will fight against you. Otherwise, you're just going to win all the time. And so the game has things that it does, like injury crises. It has financial problems. It gives you all sorts of things that you have to solve. And um, it's, it's a test. <laughs> and uh, you've got to survive the test. It won't last forever. But just for the moment, you can see what happens. You can see when they've thrown the switch. You're not scoring goals anymore. Sorry. Not until you change your tactic. Uh, do I want to... Uh... No, I don't want to answer the press. Uh, qualify for the Copa. I think we can do that. But a million, that doesn't... Uh... Title challenge... It's not going to make much difference. In fact, none of them make much difference. But I do think we can do that. We'll have a million in the bank. They're not very um, good with money either, this club. <laughs> and, uh, I, I don't know. I've, like bringing on young players from the youth team. Uh I'm going to reject it for now. See if he complains. Yeah. No, he didn't complain. That's a press. Raphael William. No, he's not going anyway. Anywhere. It does go mad here. Tottenham have made a non negotiable 2 million. We reject that as well. One of them's going to complain. Sass, mate. No, we're not going to take zero. And... Hopefully that little flurry of activity. This is what always happens when you manage in Brazil. Everybody wants your players. So we're going to play with the new style. Oh, William wants to discuss. He wants to go to Nottingham Forest. What a plonker. Uh, what's he worth? What's his value? 6.8... Well, let's tell him that. You can go. And I couldn't accept the offer. It wasn't close. What would you consider? I'm going to say 6.25. He's not happy with that. Five point two five. Still not happy. Ah, 4.9 million makes him happy rather than 5.25. Crazy game. Oliveira, who wanted, he wants to join Spurs. Players leaving, huh? Shouldn't worry too much, but there's no point in wants to go. There's no point in blocking because he's just going to be in poor form for the rest of the season. Um, the finances weren't right. 11 million. That'll do, yeah. They come in with, ele oh God, <laughs> another one. I'll let him go. The finances weren't right. Yeah, that will do. <laughs> and even another one. Uh, we've already talked to him. We've already talked to him. <laughs> this is life in Brazil. 180k. Reject them all. I've given you an 
a price and if you're not willing to pay it too bad oh they want to give me a new contract do they new contract to be offered they don't know they don't actually pay me much in brazil either i wonder though if like um all the other teams like corinthians and palmeiras and sao paulo they're also being inundated with requests 30000 no i said 180000 listen to me reject the offer I'll go along with what he's saying. Have a look tactically what that looks like. It looks okay to me. So we'll go along. I, I just know it's going to be, it's a tactic thing. I think we'll be okay in this game. Because I think it's just change your tactic. Oh, thanks, Sully. Cheers, mate. It's just a case of change your tactic and then you'll be all right. And that's a part of the game I do not like. I want to do a video on it and raise awareness. Um, £7,000 a week. Are you having a laugh? What is my contract at the moment? Six thousand. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose I'm going to be able to up it by very much. Let's go seven point five. They're fine with that. I should have gone a bit higher, <laughs> but they generally tend to be quite mean with money. So I should have uh, gone a bit higher. So let's try this new. I think I have tried it out in pre-season. It looked pretty good to me. And so hopefully we are not going to go into a complete demise here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I. but what would you suggest? Um, maybe you could fund your own badges or fund badges for members of your staff with your money. I don't know. What would you suggest? <laughs> it's... It's it's interesting. The salary in itself it doesn't make any difference what I'm earning. It really doesn't make a blind bit of difference. So, yeah, it's it's a difficult one. Fancier suits. <laughs> Get out of the track suit. And what's happened? We are now only six points ahead. Corinthians have three games in hand and are nine points behind. This is going to the wire. It always does. 17-year-old tacking mid. He's not that great at the moment. Um, in fact, we're being told only sign as a last resort. And we're not at last resort territory yet. Loan offers for Joe. I'm perfectly happy with him going out. Another good player, but not ready for first team football yet. Helinho's got transfer on his mind. Marcus for Mustafa, probably a good idea. Mustafa's played every game. So we could probably bring Marcos in. I need to play Marcos quite a lot so he doesn't think about going out, going out on... Um, and I just want to make sure he's put wing backs on the bench, defenders on the bench. We've got Raquel Me there. Perez can play and needs to be trained as a fullback. I think we are training him as a fullback. Yeah. Um, that should be defender right. Yeah, he's being trained as a defender right. He's getting there, but it's going to take a little bit of time. So Perez could play there, but we have better options. 
Udair probably needs some game time. So I'll bring on Udair instead. But I mean, look at Kamalo. Kamalo's such a good player, but he's not playing very well. Every time a transfer window comes around, he decides not to play. He gets his head full of silly ideas. So let's hope that the tactic change is what it's going to take. I have a sense that this save is mirroring the last one. And that's not making me too happy. So hopefully, if it is just the tactic change, then this will do the job. Hopefully it's going but it'll be it, the game will give us a big win because we've been bold enough to change the tactic. And already if you notice the gameplay already I can tell the players are running around a lot faster. The tempo's the same that was in the last tactic but they're running around a lot faster. So there's already a change. And they're playing in a tactic, in a style that they're not familiar with, yet playing better than the other one. Strange, strange stuff going on. I want to remain defensively solid, though, as well as attacking. So these boys, I think, need to come off the closing down a little bit. Give them a chance against the wingers. One, two, three, four players in the box. And it looks a lot more dangerous already. So hopefully it is just change the tactic and you'll be fine. But as I've said, it does annoy me because it shouldn't be about the tactic. Penalty ref. Penalty? No, nope, not given. So I want us camped up in their half. I want to see a lot of possession and camped in their half. <laughs> Goalkeeper made... He made an absolute photo of himself there. <laughs> Kamala was never going to score from that range. I, do, I think I possibly also need a new set-piece coach. We don't score many set-pieces. I'm noticing that we are bunched together. And whether or not that's a good thing, I don't know. Let's see how the game pans out. But at the moment... Oh, these are not very good. Um, it's a cup game. First leg of a cup game. We should be winning this really comfortably. But at the moment, our form... I don't even, if it isn't the tactic, then it's the players. But the change of tactic, I think it is. I think that's what it is. And it's mirroring the other save, which is really weird. And this has happened all through both of my saves, that they're copying each other. But we look a lot more dangerous now. Fullbacks getting in behind them. A little bit greedy there, Cipriano. We look much more dangerous. I mean, this, this team are a three-star reputation team. I think they're in Serie B. But they are three-star reputation and all these Brazilian teams are three star reputation they're all good teams and again we're not getting our shots on target and again my two strikers are having absolutely dreadful games as well as the two attacking mids but Perotti's got it he's on a yellow card as well Perotti need to get him to 
ease off the tackles and we've hit the bar. Ah, boy, this game is horrid sometimes. Let's tell Perotti to ease off the tackles. Uh, so I will make him an advanced forward. So I can tell him to ease off the tackles. Come on, Galzara. Do something. Someone do something. <laughs> We're going to have to shout at them, I think, demand more. We've been all over them again. So maybe it's not the change of tactic. Or maybe they're just settling into it. Or maybe these teams are just um, defending deep now against us. And that's what I've got to try and figure out. Coritiba, yeah, that's the team I am. Come on, boys, somebody do something. You've been awful. You've been dreadful of late. And it's still going on. It's still dreadful. Go on, Kamalo. Do something. Chance. Perotti, you must score. Must. Yes. Finally. <laughs> finally. We've got a goal. Perotti finally has put one in. Now, we need to go for the jugular now. I've called this tactic going for the jugular. <laughs> it's very attacking. And now we need to go for the jugular. I want to look at the midfield roles. It's probably something I can do with those roles a little bit. They are, they're not sitting deep, but they're not possibly as attacking as I'd like them to be. I mean, they are defensive at the moment. And perhaps that's one of the problems that I've got. We're a little bit too defensively minded. We'll have a look at... I mean, that's fine. But the counter press is not effective. I haven't had a team yet. That is good at counter-pressing. I think we should just focus on the counter-attack rather than counter-pressing. Just try to bring them on to us a little bit. There's a lovely pass. Kamalo! Oh, that boy in transfer windows. Hey, Stephen. How you doing, my friend? Well, it's not a gimme, this cup match. We should win this, but it's not a gimme. And we do have a second leg to play, so I want to be two or three up. That is not going to do anything, Perotti. That is dreadful. So I'm going to tell him to shoot less often. Pack it in. They have gone narrower, have they? We are playing narrow, so I could play it a little bit wider. And they've gone more cautious. So they're sitting back, trying to counter, and they've gone more compact. To no avail, Pineda, but the referee, I think, is going to check offside again. And this is another thing. When your goals are offside, <laughs> it's like nothing is going right at the moment. Let's shout at them again. Demand more. They, The opposition have not been in the game, but once again, you can see this stat here. Nine shots, only two on target. 
It needs to be nearer fifty percent. If it's not near fifty percent, then you're not winning comfortably. Even though we're a goal up, our attacking is dreadful. And this time it's the two attacking mids. Aguilera. Probably one... These two are probably the best players in my team. Aguilera and Kumalo. And neither of them's playing very well at the moment. Absolutely shocking at the moment. I think it's transfer window time. Their minds are somewhere else. That's it. Win that ball. That was dreadful. You should win that ball. Two of them went for that ball. Oh, dear. I don't know what else to do. Is it because teams are sitting back? I mean, the change of tactic has helped because we're a goal up and not a goal behind. Come on, Kamalo. Do something. Earn your money. You get paid big bucks, boy. Go on, have a run. You're supposed to be a world-class player. Aguilera. He's the weak link today, isn't he? He needs to be told to shoot less often as well. What is he playing attacking mid support? No, we don't know where we are winning the ball in the air and I haven't seen any evidence that we are winning the ball in the air in the penalty area. And Kiwalo has taken a knock. Yeah, David can come on for him. This is tough at the moment. It's really tough. I'll take a 1-0, though, in the hope that we we will recover back to our previous form one day. But I want to have a look at those midfielders. They might be the issue. Maybe he's probably not best to be playing as a deep-line defender. Deep-lying I think I'd like a Segundo Volante going forward on attack. And then we can have another one sitting deep. He can sit deeper. <clears throat> so we've got... Redondo can go forward. And Galzaro can just sit deeper. <coughs> and we've got, I think, possibly we need to go a bit wider as well. Look how narrow everything is. There's no way through there. So we're going to go fairly wide. We'll try fairly wide for now. <laughs> we'll try everything. Ah, oh, there's the second. Redondo. I wonder if it's because I changed the midfield roles. I know it's a set piece, but he's on attack now and he's probably going to get further forward. So I don't want Galzara as a Segunda Volante. I want him as a DM on support. I think, though, actually it does show that in the main screen and not on the bottom. No, we've got both of them. Segunda Volante attack. DM support. Oh, it's half-time, is it? 
Do not get complacent out there. I'm not quite sure what's going on. This is like a, a beginning of the match talk. Have we had a great big glitch here? <laughs> Why was I giving them a talk <laughs> before that screen came up? Strange. Okay, let's go back to the dressing room then. And uh, no team talk has been given. What? I've just given them a team talk. Team talk complete. Well, let's hand it over then. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. <laughs> uh, come on, we're 2-0 up. Let's get some more goals and then we'll just prove then it was all to do with the tactic needed changing. A part of the game that I really dislike. Win this one 3 or 4 nil, then you can say, yep, yeah, all to do with the tactic. Helinho, he's actually not on the pitch, is he, Helinho? Might be time to bring him on. Although the two midfield boys are playing very well now. The wing backs are not playing very well. The two midfielders are playing very well free kick referee Kamalo's off the pitch who's going to be taking this free kick then it's Aguilera Aguilera not Aguero Aguilera not a bad effort son not a bad effort it's the two two full backs who are not performing as well as Aguilera Aguilera's had a poor game he's had a poor couple of games lately He needs to be doing better. He's a very, very good player. He's just out of form. Redondo was easily robbed there, but he's won it back. David, go on, son. Show what you can do. But he can't do very much. <laughs> and it's still 2-0. But happy to report that we have wiped the floor with them, really. They have not been in this game. Well, how many subs have I actually made? Just one, isn't it? Kamalo. Eighteen shots, seven on target is better than it was. It's not good enough. But better than it was. Poor pass. Very poor pass. Come on, Cipriano. Come on. Perotti, can he get in behind? Goes for the shot himself. Perotti is not playing very well. Pineda... Is on and off like a tap. But we're winning. But I want to be more comfortable than this in the first leg at home. The two fullbacks are concerning me. They're playing okay, but not playing very well. They're having okay games. So maybe I need to think about their roles. As their roles are fine. So I'm going to just shout at them. Both of them. So you're letting the team down, boys. Come on, Flamenco. He's not the number one choice. Perez is the number one choice. But because Perez is not a natural fullback, 
Either he or Haverton has to cover for him until Perez is trained. No, you see, that uh, my assistant said get more crosses in the box because we're winning the ball in the air. But we're still not getting them on target. So don't, you don't always listen to the assistant. Right, come on, counter. We've got bodies up the pitch here. Look for Pineda now. That's better. That's much better. Has he been given a offside here again? I don't think so. I think the referee's running away this time. That was much better, boys. First time ball into the box. And it's now 3-0. There you go. It was just change of tactic. And we're back on course now. <clears throat> Pineda has woken up as well, which is very nice. Flamenco's gone to a 7.1. Cipriano has gone up a couple of points to a 6.8. So just having a word with both of them has got them playing better. But I also am aware that I don't want it to be 3-1. I want it to be to stay 3-0 because there's another leg to play. I don't want them giving away a silly goal now. But Cipriano has woken up. He started playing a little bit better. And also... Go on, Pineda. No, can't get on the end of it. And also, Flamenco suddenly got himself a 7.1 from somewhere. Yeah, absolutely, Sully. But I, I said before the episode began, or at the beginning of the episode before we played the first match, that my tactic in the other save had just died. And so we've got the same mirrored here. And I had a funny feeling when I, those two last results, a 1-0 against a team we should have hammered, and a team that... Um, we had a nil-nil draw against a team we really should have beaten. We just didn't look right. And that's a clue that the tactic needs changing. Even though I like the way that I play the game, the tactics that I use, the game says you're not going to win unless you change it. And here we go, it's proof. But once we change the tactic, we're scoring goals again. Flamenco is having an absolutely brilliant game now. Just from that bollocking I gave him. I, I mean, I did notice they were playing OK, but that was it, playing OK. And I need them to play a little bit more better than OK. And I do need to think about some subbies now. So let's... Go and make some substitutions. Helinho can come on for Galzara, I think. No, actually, Redondo. Let's put Galzara as... Because I think he's probably a better option as a DM. I could put make him a ball winner there. Just to give us a bit of solidity. Aguilera has had a poor match. Oliveira, another youngster, can come on there. Should I rest Perotti? Perotti hasn't been great. I'm going to play Shatin for a little while. And we'll leave it at that. We'll save one <coughs> if need be. Galzara <laughs> putting it about there. So I'm hoping for big things from Helenio here today. 
or they might sell him. But 4-0, we'll take that. <clears throat> I just don't want to... We're going to go to a balanced approach now. I just don't want to give a goal away and let them back into the tie. And we'll just try and keep possession now. Go a little bit narrower. Now we'll keep that where it was. The rest is fine. Are we going to get caught by a set piece again? Two set pieces in the last game. I need to get a new set piece coach in. I have had a look, but there is nobody better available than the one that I have. But he's rubbish. He 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 hasn't. We don't score at all from set pieces. Hardly any. And we don't defend against them very well either. We usually lose the headers in the box. Is it because my players are not tall enough? Kano is still a bit of a, a nuisance. Ah, oh dear. Let's tight mark him. Let's take him out of the game. Look at where we are in terms of our position on the field. Right in their box all the time. And so coming back into a more balanced style of play might force them higher up the pitch. Has worked before this. But no need today. We've just won this fairly comfortably in the end, even though they haven't played particularly well. We've won it quite comfortably. Still got one more sub. Cipriano, possibly. Yeah, let's substitute off Cipriano. Bring on Raquel me for 10 minutes. And we'll see it out now. If we can make it five, that would be nice, boys. Oh, you're miles offside, Sunshine. Yeah, Sally could even do it mid-match. Once we've trained them up on this now, we can just shuffle it about a bit. Come on, it's about time, Helenio, you did something. A little assist here, that'll do nicely. 5-0. There you go, guys, it was just the tactic. <laughs> That's all it was. At some point, the game forces you to change your tactic. And there you go, 5-0 victory, we are back. Just a temporary blip that we had. We've got to win our next few games in the league now, though. Really important to keep winning in the league. And hopefully this will be good for morale. Now they're up to nearly 50%, and that's where you want to be. In terms of shots on target ratio, you want to be 50%. And then you're winning comfortably. We just need to shut things down now, don't we? Come back to a mid-block. Come off that. Time waste more. Play out of defence now. That's something I need to think about. 
but their shooting hasn't been that bad today. Five nil will be better than five one. So we want to hold on. So that means we'll he's on support already. He can go on support as well. And that's it, job done. We are back. Hopefully just a temporary blip. Six by six. Nope, not going to be six today. <laughs> Galsara's on an eight, had a good game. Two centre backs have played really well. Pineda's had a very good game. And David's played well since he came on. So we're back in a little bit of form. Another free kick. Are we going to get six before the end, are we? Yes, we are. We are going to make it 6-0. <laughs> and David, what a free kick that was. <laughs> the youngsters have done it again. 6-0. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting, hoping we might win 2-0. But there you go, the change of tactic has done us good. <laughs> no, I will stay with the new tactic for a while. I think if I switch it back, it's too early to switch it back. And um, we'll, we'll try the new tactic in the next game. It's more attacking, so goals should be in the team. And I think we've just seen 6-0. Well done. And that will get morale up. And you're right, though, Sully. We can switch them now. And if one of them isn't working, we can use the other one. But that's job done in terms of... Um, Kamalo's out for three weeks. Oh, my good. Injuries are just going on and on and on. Redondo, very good game. We have to, we'll have a look at Redondo. Redondo, he's 26 years old. If you have a look at his uh, information, it's probably not going to tell us much. He's Argentina, but has Spanish, so it's not telling us about his family. His profile... Um, is used to have um, information. There's not much information on him. Biography. Redon Frederico Don Redondo, well known across South America. Debut in Liga Professional, playing with Argent, played for Argentina. Doesn't say anything about his dad. But he's 26 years old. So he is a decent player. And let's have a look at the schedule now. That, I'm glad to see, is hopefully disappeared. Palmeiras, a very good team. I'm going to come back. I'm going to play through and come back um, for the Copa Libertadores. The second round game against Espanola. We will play Avi in the first game in the league, and then we'll play a Espanola to see if we can't get to the quarterfinals of the Libertadores. That's what I'm after at the end of the day. This is my focus. If we can win that, I'll be on the move. <laughs> and uh, we need to focus on that. We need a good performance in that. Let's get to the quarterfinals. But that's it for today. Two games we have. Um, one, one of them and lost one of them. We need to recover in the league now. We're still six points clear. Um, but it's, once all the games in hand have been played, it will be very tight up there. And so thanks for coming, guys.
and uh, the next episode Fernando Redondo's son I'm getting an error on the stream um, it says that the stream is not very good so something's gone on with my internet connection so we will call it a day guys and um, thank you very much for coming along how many and which leagues do you set as playable? Um, I ch In this journeyman, I'll just switch them on and switch them off as applicable. I've had Europe on all the time. At the moment, I've been to Indonesia. That's now switched off. I've got Japan switched off now. South Africa is now switched off. I've no intention of going back there. And I've added Argentina, Brazil, North America. And I've got some European, um, Spain, England, um, Italy and Germany. Um, so as I go through the save, I switch them on and off as necessary. Argentina probably needs to be switched off now because I've no intention of going to Argentina. I, the next stop must be Europe. Um, so things get switched off as I've as I do it.